Welcome, my name is Colin Miles, I'm the CEO here at Miles Better, and this is week two of my 10 common mistakes that small business owners make. Today we're going to be looking at bank accounts, the combination of using your personal bank or the business bank, which is not a good option, and the second one is neglecting to build a professional network. So the first common mistake is that entrepreneurs get scared, particularly if you're a sole trader, you think I'm putting a business bank account, that's a big step. Well, actually, HMRC would highly recommend it as a sole trader. And if you go down the limited company route, then it's a responsibility that you need to have as a director. It's going to help you keep the business apart from your personal wealth and your own personal expenses. And it allows us here at Miles Better to help you track your expenses and allocate them correctly within your business. It can be, as I say, a little scary, but it's an extremely important point uh, and it allows you to get a much clearer understanding of your cash flow. We can start to allocate funds for future taxes and therefore it's much easier to see what's happening. So the key mistake here is not separating personal from business because you need to. The business is one entity and you are a personable, the second entity. The second and very easily forgotten mistake or commonly made mistake is neglecting to build a professional network. When you're an employee and you work inside an office, you naturally interact with lots of other people. And so you start building a professional network without realizing it. You meet your HR director, you work with your finance team, you work with customers and you work with peers in your own building. Well, that starts to form a network and they can be relied on to help you when you have a problem. Well, as an entrepreneur, it can be a very lonely world if you don't start thinking about a professional network. There are so many out there, LinkedIn, Facebook, but also you can network with your um, peers within your own sector, perhaps colleagues that you know do a similar sort of job, other freelancers, but we need to work together to create a community because then we can help each other. This is part of why I'm producing these videos is to help create your network with me here at Miles Better and allow you to understand that the uh, working with others in, within the network can open a whole new world of opportunities because they can be a resource that, as we talked about earlier in the video last week, about perhaps when you get busy, they could help you as a contractor, a one-off job, vice versa. When they get busy, they may need you to come and help. So it's a quid pro quo, and it can be highly and hugely rewarding for both you and your network. So we would recommend that working that you have to work, um, don't have to work harder, but you have to work smarter, and that's where a professional network comes in. So try digging around online, see if there are any other groups there, or just reach out to us here at Miles Better, and we can help point you in touch uh, with some other networks that we work with. We hope you've enjoyed these two points of part two of my 10 common mistakes that all entre small entrepreneurs often make. If you enjoyed the video and a couple of top business tips, the series of videos will build into my 10 tips for all small business owners. I'd love for you to grab a co free copy today of all the tips and also check out the other videos as we release them. Please visit www.milesbettervault.com where after dropping your favorite email address in, you can gain instant access to this ebook and a host of other top tip videos we've already released and a further free ebooks and bonus materials from me, Colin, the Accounting Translator. Please also visit us on Facebook and like our page, we're located at Miles Better Services, or follow us on Instagram at Miles Better Accounting. We hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you for your interest.